Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So I have done some major refitting of the lances. We got a second lance now going. We picked up the pilots last episode. Um, so let's have a look in the mech bay straight away just so we can see where we're at here. Now there were some minor tweaks to some of the main lance. So the griffin, let's have a look at this one. I added a couple things because um, we were lacking a few things on the griffin. Um, the talons we have that we picked up, we have as backup. These J talons are better, so we left we left those in. I put an XL gyro in and some endo steel. Uh, the mask system I traded out for a clan mask system. I'm not really worried about the plus 30% heat generation, but the plus 50% sprinting distance is is much better. So I put that in there. Fire control system improved. Recon sensors clan um, to give it better spotting from distances. We had enough weight to be able to drop an LRM5 double plus with some chaff ammo in just so that when it's not mailing anything, it can at least be impairing their sensors and stuff, which is kind of good. And I had enough room left over for an A-Pod, which I dropped in, which we can use on those mechs that we um, uh, find uh, that we need to uh, apply just a little extra damage to. So we have that sitting in there for now. Didn't know what else to put in for half a ton. So that's this mech. Oops, we want to go back this way. And the Bushwhacker. Now, I have well, actually let's look at the Wolverine first. Well, I'll look at the bush, Bushwhacker in a second. So, I basically updated a couple of minor things on the Wolverine, not much. Um, I think it's running okay as it is, but we, we swapped out a medium pulse laser in the arm for a medium X pulse. Uh, and I upgraded the sensors, I believe, to Slick Suite. Um, that was it. I think that's all we did on this guy. So, not much of a difference. Still pretty good loadout, I think. Uh, we'll have to see how it runs. Uh, heat efficiency is actually fairly good too. It doesn't show it on there. But the bushwhacker, what we did was, I'll just show you here, the uh, the uh, CQB cockpit we added in with the plus six accuracy with ranged weapons. So that's going to give us a huge bonus to hit with um, our missile systems. Plus two injury resisted, which is awesome. Plus 50% chance to do a critical hit. Plus three initiative. So this is a huge addition to this mech. Um, we did have to pull out the old targeting. We had the obsolete Artemis system in here, which wasn't giving us any absolutely anything. I don't know why I left it in for so long, but it is gone now, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's this guy. And then the Shadowhawk, all I did, I picked up a couple of double plus flamers and swapped out the couple of regular flamers with double plus flamers, and um, that's all we did with this guy. So much better chance to hit with the flamers. So the crab stayed the same, didn't touch him at all. The hunchback we changed. Um, I wanted the pulse lasers and the X pulse out of this thing. So what I needed to do was figure out a different loadout for this guy. So what we have is we have a fire control system ballistic now in with plus one accuracy with ballistic weapons added an AC5. Uh, it does have a recoil of one, but it won't jam because this thing has got a minus one ballistic rating, so it shouldn't jam at all. We've got three medium uh, lasers plus five damage, so that's 30 points damage right there, and a pair of tags. Um, Warfare suite still, and that's about it. Added a ton of ammo in the leg because I didn't have enough for, or didn't have any case two or enough room to put case in here, uh, or enough weight that is. So yeah, that's all we did with this guy. So I'm hoping this runs okay. We'll see. And now for the Raptor and the Arena, those are the two that. Uh, were the new mechs. So let's go with Raptor first. So this guy is primarily a support, fast range support mech. Um, we went with the R12 sheath beacon. Originally we had the uh, Angel system in here, but I went with the uh, sheath beacon only because I was able to get a ton and a half off of that. This goes in the head, so I don't have to worry about the weight for it. Um, so yeah, this the ECM is a slightly lower than it was before, but that's I don't mind that so much. We have a bonus initiative and a couple injury resisted uh, armored cowl in the head and a fire control system missile plus for a plus one direct fire missile attack and uh, increased critical chance. Dropped a couple of clan SRM6s in here because they're really light uh, and we gave them a variety of ammo. So we've got a hundred rounds of acid, inferno and regular SRM rounds. Uh, this is all supported by a couple of medium X pulses in the arms. Um, to give it bonus accuracy and stuff, which is good. And we've got a mag shot to finish it off here in the, in the other arm, just to give it the, the little extra punch. Uh, it's a fairly fast mech. Because it's an Omni mech, we can't do anything here. Um, but it does have uh, um, 
a, a double heatsink kit in it now and in some cooling, so it's running extremely cool. Um, and we've got a bonus to hit upper energy uh, on this arm to give the pulse lasers even that much better chance to hit. So overall, I think I'm kind of happy with this one. We'll have to see how it works in Battlefield. But once again, it's got the versatility of chance to overheat the enemy mechs, a uh, chance to apply acid damage and then regular damage when we need it. So and there's plenty of ammo here, so we can just mix and match as we go along. Plus, it's full armor too, so that's good. And then the Arrhenia... I wasn't sure. This this mech took me the longest to figure out what to do. I was planning on making it like a medium pulse laser boat, and then I thought, ah, we've got so many of those. What can we do different? Um, so what we did is we ended up keeping the PPC capacitor because we added a clan ER PPC in the arm. And I gave it the fire control system improved, uh, improved call shot modifier, uh, sensors ranged, which minus 50% minimum range, plus 10% all range brackets, so it'll give the PPC even more range. Uh, Watchdog Suite um, clan, so it, he's got uh, really good ECM and bubble. Uh, TTS energy, obviously we needed an exchanger in here. Uh, kept the weapon mount on the arm, because um, we de we definitely needed that. Sorry, it's really dry here again today. Uh, yeah, PPC, and we've just added a clan um, medium pulse laser in the other arm. It's got good range on it, so it's just a secondary weapon which we can use. Hopefully we can do a lot of pinpoint damage with this thing. Uh, 200 engine core doesn't give it a lot of speed, but we do have a light engine in here, so it gives it a little bit of uh, uh, extra weight in a double heatsink kit. So I couldn't really do too much. I wanted to add a mask to this, but there really just isn't the ability to do that. Um, the reason why I went with the Clan ER is... Um, it's got the 70 damage with the PPC capacitor. It's going to do, be doing 80 pinpoint, and the damage doesn't fall off over range. Uh, we do. I could have put in the snub nose PPC, which I've actually sold now, but there was no reason to do that because the heat was a little less. Had it had a uh, little less range, but it had damage fall off, and it did less damage. So I'm thinking the Clan ER PPC is the best way to go. I tried fitting the heavy PPC in here, but once again, it's got damage fall off. Um, it does, uh, I think, 90 damage. Uh, the heat is about the same, but once again, like I said, the damage fall off over range, plus it's 10 tons. It just really didn't work. Um, so I just left it off. The ERPPC, I think, is the best way to go. So I'm hoping to see how this mech works out. Um, so let's go back. Now, I've already chosen a mission for today. Let's get our main lance out. All right, so command center. Main Lance is going to hop into battle here. And we're going to take the Renegade mission today. Three Skull, Assassinate, and Polar Biome. Um, an Outworldian out out mech was taken. Um, so we need to pull this person down. Um, hopefully this Outworld mech, um, Outworld Alliance, is generally sometimes has good mechs. So I'm really hoping it's something good. So let's negotiate this. And we're going to go full salvage and accept. We should have more than enough uh, for the end of the month too. So... This is our new lance. The Wolverine um, is in now instead of the Hunchback. So let's deploy this and get it done. Alright, looks like they're only traveling with one lance. Yeah, it looks that way. Which could be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. Let's move up. They gotta claim some territory before these guys will crest the hill and take a little bit of high ground. Hoping this uh, new cockpit in the bushwhacker is gonna uh, give us really great chance to hit with our missile systems. Yes, All we need to do is find some more dead fire ammo. Roger. Full speed. Wolverine's gonna work out to be a great strike mech, I I'm think. Here. Still need to figure out what we're going to do with this uh, flame hawk, though. I think it ne really needs to uh, get a mask system in it. All right, we're going to reserve. Um, Commander. Let's do this. What do we got here? Barbarian, fulcrum, ah, scorpion, patent heavy tank. Hit it with this guy with chaff. Nope. Damn it. 
Fire Fist MRM30 Advanced AMS Large Laser, Medium Laser, LRM10 Two Light AC2s, really? AC10, okay Well, Barbarian's really the only threat Let's just move up, get ourselves into position here can't really strike this turn. Let's make sure we stay in the forest. Full speed, no um. Sure. Engaging. Well, we either got the narc or the tag on it. Either way. That's a bonus. All right, we can't move in yet. Uh, let's reserve. I want to get eyes on first. Okay, we can kill this guy probably. Um, leave the acid on. For any follow-ups that we need to do. Oh, it's got an AMS too, right? So. Standing by. Stepping on the front, try and keep that engine. And leave the A-pod off. Let's, well, let's leave the acid on just in case we don't kill it. Here it comes. Come on, squash it. Nice. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Thank you. I'm receiving you. Now, do we have the ability? We do. Let's see if we can superheat this guy. Ah, uh, firing. Target nope. Plus seventy-two heat, though. Make sure we stay in the trees here. On my way. Double time. Okay, B's gonna take the tag of the narc. Fire everything else to A. Multiple targets confirmed. Just because we can step on that guy next turn, it'll give us a better chance. Wow, that was sad. Still got lots of armor though. Barbarian didn't move. Let's get rid of the Patton. See if we can overheat that Barbarian. Okay. AC-10 off the field. Reporting vehicle destroyed. If I remember correctly, this Barbarian's got some speed to him. Target this guy, see if we can remove him. And let's go with the regular ammo and maybe we can just kill him. That's a lot better accuracy, I gotta say. We were averaging, averaging between 35 and 45 before. Want to play a fire game? We can play the fire game. I'm going to shut your ass down next turn. Then we're going to pull your legs off. We oh, that was a hatchet man. Uh, let's reserve Sunflower. All we got left is this guy. So let's just um, take our time with him. 
Looking for the overheat. Gonna leave the plasma cannon off for now. Fire the rest. That's gonna be overheat. You're done, buddy. You are done. So I think we've got three hatchetman parts. Although I don't know how many barbarian parts we have. I think we got a few, but not very many. Um, oh, we don't need to do an offensive push. Because he's shut down. Let's try and take his leg. Firing. Here it comes. It's going to take a while to get this guy, but we'll get there. What's up, boss? On it. Um, yeah, leg. Let's fire everything. I don't care how much we destroy off this guy. It's really irrelevant. Um, God, what do we want to do here? How much has he got left? I have no idea. Let's go with the bonus to hit ammo. Let's just go with the ones in the arms. Go after that leg. AMS apparently is still working even though he shut down. Okay, should be able to get grab this leg now. Um, let's keep the tag and the narc on him. Oh! Don't know how we got that. Oh, whatever, whatever. That's genuinely disappointing. Let's go show this hatchetman what a real melee mech looks like. Oh, it's a pirate one. Engaging the target. Huh. That's a miss. Fifty tons, huh? I was hoping for something a little bit better at three skulls, but not much we can really do about it. I'm kind of a slave to the game. Yes, I'm standing in the geothermal. Fastest place to go. We gotta run out of here too when we're done, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Receiving. Got it. Let's see if we can knock him. Nope. No joke. Yeah, those LRM fives aren't uh, they're not um I'm receiving you. I don't know, they're not bothering me. Uh, let's just reserve. Let's just see what this guy does. Come on, buddy. Holding for the right opportunity. Here, hatchy, 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 man. <laughs> he just pauses all of a sudden. He's like, oh. Yeah, maybe that was a bad idea, coming over the hill. Should have maybe just stayed back there. I'm here. Let's see how much heat we can dump on this guy. Plasma cannon up. Fire everything. Copy that, Commander. Not very much. Not very much. I don't think there's really any way to save this guy and stay alive. Um, let's go for the leg. See what we get. How do we do? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Moving to position. Just going for Warlord for the better chance to hit. If we can take his leg and he falls, then uh, we can just finish him up. Okay, how's he doing here? Not much left. Uh, Ready for orders. Now we've got Zerk, confirm... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's just do it. Okay, got the arm. 
torso. And he's falling down. Good. That's fine. You knocked him. You knocked his ass over. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. There he is. What makes you think he's going anywhere? Besides our horrible track record of letting pilots get away in the past. Actually, it wasn't these crew, but I've had problems with letting pilots get away in the past. Let's just hammer with leg with this. Do we get the leg? Try this leg. Fire it all. We're gonna get what we get here. Reporting critical hit. Order acknowledged. <sighs> He's gonna die horribly. God, man. Panicking? There we go. Nice. I was worried about that. Oh, great. Now we have to run the f all the way to Frigga over there. Alright, guys. I'll see you in a minute. Let's move. I'm here. Alright, there we go. We're out of here. Wow. I really hate that part of it. All right, payment increased by 25%, which is excellent. That gives us our financial report. And we didn't take any real damage at all. I'm kind of sad at that. Three vehicles and a, and a mech plus the leader at three skulls. That's kind of terrible. Uh, one barbarian part. You know, I don't normally take mech parts. And Hatcherman pirate. The Hatcherman's not really worth it to me. Um... Let's see what else we've got down here, though. MRM 30. I just want accuracy. 10 tons. Snub those PPC pirate. We've been having bad... Uh... Yeah. We've been having bad luck with these guys lately. Compact heat sink. Compact heat sink kit. We want that. How much was it? It's not these guys that we want. It's the... Uh... That's not bad for price. Pirate engine. Walk and sprint distance, eh? That could help out the uh, minus 15% and plus 10 weapon heat generated. This could help out the uh, Shadowhawk. Flamehawk. 265 engine. XL engine for sea bills. Mm. Spiked leg boots. Not really as good as what we have. Spiked. Armor protection for point of armor. Weight change for point of armor. Reduced melee damage taken. Resistance against crit hits. Plus 20% melee damage. I'm going to take that. Don't, don't we already have one of these? No. Don't know if we're going to get to use it so much. Because of the weight dip damage problem. Um... Yeah, let's go this route. Okay, Barbarian Hatchment part. And MRM 30. Tag, we got lots of. Spike boots, okay. AC 10 ammo, that's nice. Because um, we do have Ultra 10s. Well, I guess the 10s, Ultra 10 needs Ultra 10 ammo, doesn't it? Now. Okay, well, it's. Eh, could be better. Alright. Uh, sure. 9,000. That's excellent. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run our second lance now. And let's find out what mission we can take for these guys. I'm kind of worried that uh, they're going to perform really terribly, but... Uh, weakest link. Assassinate mission. Cease and desist. Destroy base. That's probably a... It's a ghost bear. Probably not a good idea to do that one. Recovery. Uh, 
yeah, we can do this one. That should be fine. So let's negotiate this. Go full salvage. And let's bring in that second lance. Interested to see how they're going to perform here. So Satori, uh, Chupacabra was second. Um, let's bring Speed of Sound Sonic and Sheet Metal. I'm going to call I, I changed the name to Sound Sonic. Normally I don't change the names, but Speed of, I couldn't get Speed of Sound Sonic in there. So Okay, so mechs, we need... Who wants the Satori to run? Probably the PPC. Most likely the PPC. Um, yeah, this is tough. It doesn't really matter who gets what, but whatever, whoever I put these, it's going to be pretty much who people are going to be running. Um, yeah, I think that's probably a good way to do it. Hunchback, I think, is going to have a hard time hitting no matter who we put in there right now. So the lower gunnery is fine. Uh, crab, I think, is probably a pair of SRMs in LBX-5 and Light-5. Raptor, we need somebody who can pilot well. I think this is probably okay. Well, maybe we just change these two around, I think. Yeah, let's go that well. Yeah, let's go this route. Okay. Let's locate that scientist and get her the hell out of there. I don't think I've. Um. After the mission, let's make snowmen. Yeah, sure. Sounds fantastic. Um, have I ever played on this map before? Not for this mission. That's interesting. Okay. That was a first for everything. Going into the valley it seems like a very, very bad idea. Um, thinking probably this way. Let's do this. I mean, the one thing we could do with the Hunchback is lower the engine slightly and get a bit more weight. Switch out the AC-5 for a 10. I mean, that was one of the things I was toying around with, but... Alright, you are the scout mech, so let's get you up in here in the woods. And nothing. Yes, Commander. Let's get some speed, please. On the move, full speed. Waiting for order. You are fire support. Moving out. Hunchback, 4J, okay. Receiving you. Let's give that hunchback something to shoot at other than our uh, lighter mech. What else do we have down here? Fire truck. Okay. The idea behind the two tags and the hunchback was so that we could... Uh, we want to get up here? Um, I'm going to reserve was that we could multi-target out more than one uh, more than one person for our long range fire support I don't know if they see us holding for tactical advantage I got a bad idea about going that way I think there's two more over on this side. Orders. Choopy. Choopy Guadalupe. On it. Commander. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. We took a large hit in initiative there. Um, they're nicely hidden in that valley. Like, we can't even get on these guys. 
So let's reserve it. Standing by. I'm here. Can we not even get eyes on? Really? Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Good to go. Copy that. Oh, what do we got up here? Something that we can shoot at. Tag on, nice. Got lots of ammo. Oh, two hits, nice. Good to go. On my I want to stay in the trees. Let's see what the chance to hit here. Seventy-one percent with this thing. ERPPC for the for the win, man. This should be 80, uh, 80 damage. Firing. Got it. <sighs> why do I get excited? Why? Why I don't you know? Why? Why do I get excited? I don't know why I get excited. Ready for orders. <sighs> I devastate this Clint. I'm shocked that these guys still can't see us. We're on a cliff here, technically, so they can't get up here. Um, can't really devastate that hunchback like I'd like to. Just moving slowly. He's got to come up, spend some time coming up here anyway. Okay, hopefully that's two more hits. Okay, so let's go with Infernal ammo on this guy and fire. Okay, got a bunch of heat on him anyway. Alright, he decided to come forward. Do we know what he's got? Ah, it's a lot of lasers. Alright. At least we got tag on him. What can I do for you? I need you to shoot this guy, please. <laughs> Let's see if we can take his head clean off. Firing. Firing everything I've got. I can't even see what you're shooting at, girl. Did we get a headshot? We don't think we did. Nope. Let's just shoot him. Yeah, critical hit. Good to go. See if we make this hunchback Copy unstable. That. Hammer him hard with everything. Uh, we just got normal out with this, right? Yeah, we do. Target's taking a critical hit. Unsteady. And let's switch our ammo up a bit. Let's uh, go with acid and normal and fire. 
Okay. Not what I was expecting, but it works. I wonder if there'll be a second lance after this. I hope so. Okay, guys, come on. Mr. Carrier should probably be the next target. Let's get in the trees. I'll take the minus to our chance to hit. That's a lot of missiles. Okay, we got tag on him. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's not move. Got it. Nicely done. Okay, now we can move over and uh, get some cover. Standing by. Let's hit this fire truck. Maybe we can pull the Clint apart. Salvage some Clint pieces. Wow, that was terrible. Sound Sonic. Switch into... No, let's leave it as acid. Because I don't think we'll kill him, but if we get one acid hit on it... There we go. That's going to increase our damage from everybody else, so... Let's get up here. And firing. Okay, we got the tags on. Man, with the tags, are the, it's like the best chance to hit weapon. All right, we're finally start taking in some damage here. I think they got reinforcements. Either that or the truck's figuring out where to go. Probably. Nope, Clint. Wonder what that guy's running. I want to be able to see him, so let's move down here. Okay. Okay, he's got that side facing us. So let's just hammer him. Nice. Take that, you little bastard. <laughs> Good to go. Well spoken. Got it. Let's see here. Nah. Want to make sure we hit. So let's just fire. Commander. Heading out. Why are we only hitting with the tags, dude? Dude. 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 Okay. Let's go. Um. Yeah, same thing. Okay, we got some acid on him. Yep. Hey. There. Okay. Um. Let's go with normal. Fire. Fire onto the guy's side. And use everything. Solid connection on that one. What can I do for you? Now you should just be able to go after that leg. What she's got left though? Almost nothing. Should we go for the other leg, I guess? Probably. Wow. Nice shooting. Completely unstable and you were able to do that, eh? Yes, Commander. 
Uh, let's go here. I copy. Let's just fire. Copy that. Wow, tags missed this time. I'm here. Affirmative. Okay. Let's just kill him, please. Can we do that today? Anybody firing? Something got blown off. I think I hit something good. Leg. Yep. Waiting for orders. No, it was just a knockdown. That should be the leg gone. There's more where that came from. Don't need to tell me twice. Just receiving you. Yep, and there's the other leg. Um barely anything left. A couple mediums probably and tags. Firing on target. There we go. It's go time. It's go time. Um, we can get up this way. Commander. We can do that. Let's go rescue our guy and get out of here. Time. Let's go. Girl, whoever it is. Good to go. Let's go, ladies. Uh -huh. what? No. Speed of sound sonic. So. Order. Hopefully. Waiting for order. We get another lance, but it's unlikely. Find out here in a second. Ready for orders. Try to stay together up here. Aye, aye. Waiting for orders. Just in case. Affirmative. The asset is in hand. There it is, folks. All right, sixty-three thousand. Not too bad. So that was a pretty good first per performance for this lance. Although I'm getting tired of the understrength, um, the understrength enemy. It's uh, getting frustrating. So take a light AC five. Possibility for the crab. Uh, energy fuel cell for sale. Ballistic fire control system. I think we've got other ones that we can use. AC5 ammo, we got a bunch of. LRM incendiary ammo, we have one. Half load of incendiary, we don't need. Paint, we don't really need paint. Narc, we don't have, but we do have um, launchers. So let's take that. So we have some ammo for our launchers. Fire control system. Yeah, we've got like two notch, two launchers sitting around, so uh, really nothing up here I want, right? Fluid guns we've got. Yeah, let's grab. Um, this is one hundred thirty thousand. Are we going to need it though? Probably not. Let's just grab this. Or a hand. Do we have any hands? We don't. Mm, we don't need any right now, so let's just confirm this. Alright, Clinton hunchback piece. Nice. Bunch of other crap. Yeah. Oh, we got the half load. Okay, so, well, I mean, it could have been better. We are surrounded! Alright, 11,000. That's pretty good for repairs. Okay, so I'm thinking... We're going to need to find a better system to fight in because we're not doing so well out here. This is like, we're barely getting anything that we need. Um, and I'm also thinking too, that crab, um, it's, we got to do something about that crab. Let's have a quick, what? I have to pause that. Let's have a quick look at it really quickly before we end the episode. Now, it's just we're limited by hard points, right? We got two missile, we got two energy, and two ballistic. This should be a long-range platform, I think. 
because if we run the second lance, if we use the crab and the Irinia as the long range gunnery platforms, um, it's probably going to be better. I'm wondering if, what do we have lerm wise? Not a lot. Plus one accuracy LRM 15. We got MRM 30s. Um, minus 20% AMS intercept modifier, really? We don't have any merm ammo though, I don't think. Do we? We don't. We barely have any LRM ammo either. Oh, we got Artemis ammo. I don't think we, I think we do have an Artemis system. Follow leader and swarm missiles. So, I mean, we could... I don't know. We got like 50 tons. It's a slow Mac. We could put it. I mean, we could put one LRM 15 on it. A pair of LRM fives, maybe. But then what? LBX. If we leave the LBX five on, I don't know. Let's leave it for now. I don't think we quite have the LRMs to to do anything with this. We don't have any MRM missiles. It's such a hard, I mean, I don't know. AC5 is, this is five tons. I mean, we could put the other, we just picked up another light AC5. We could put that in. One Ignatian, evasion pips ignored, but this LBX5 does more damage, like, in general, with the cluster ammo. Plus one accuracy, plus one evasion pips ignored. Five sub munitions. Huh. Like five of nine points damage each, roughly, or ten points damage. Ah, let's just leave it for now. You know, these mechs with their with like a limited number of specific hard points on them like this, two, two, and two. Uh I've always find frustrating because it's just hard to get a really good single like use build out of it. Either you throw the weight into the auto cannons, in which case, you know, you're stuck with just like two shots, or you throw your weight into lasers and you're stuck with two shots, or you throw your weight into like LRMs and you're stuck with two LRMs. It's like, I don't know. It's frustrating. Anyway, let's leave it there. All right, when we come back next time, we're going to have jumped systems. We're probably going to head towards clan space. Let's see if we can fight clan ghost bear. Um, our uh, relationship with. Um, uh, Outworld Alliance has gone up, which is good. So, I mean, I don't know if I want to ally with them. We're going to probably go someplace else. Um, we're not really um, finding the challenge where we are right now. So perhaps we head toward uh, more towards Steiner Wolf area. I don't know. That's a long way away, though. But we'll figure it out as we go along. All right. So we're gonna, if you like the episode, uh, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and leave any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.